Hey everybody, Dave here, and today I'm going to be doing some drawing or painting on the computer, and I'm going to be drawing right on my computer screen in Paint 3D, Windows Paint 3D. So I have a touchscreen computer, touchscreen desktop, and um, but you can do this on any machine. If it is not a touchscreen, of course you'll have to use your mouse, but um, if you have a touchscreen, you can use your finger or you can use a stylus. In this case, I'm gonna be using this stylus and it has a little plastic uh, tip so it won't scratch my screen or anything. And you can pick these up on Amazon. If I think of it, I'll put a link. This was a really nice set of two that I got and I really like these. They also come with a different tip, but enough about that. Let's get into the painting. I'm gonna show you guys the computer. I'm gonna show you the paint program opened. We're gonna start a time lapse and we're gonna start doing some painting or drawing on the computer right on the monitor part with this. And then um, I'll, I'll run the time lapse and then I'll come back and say goodbye. Okay guys, I'm holding my phone with one hand so I hope it's not uh, too bad for you. But I'm gonna show you how I can draw right on the screen here. Here we have the brushes up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and select that and they will pop up over here on this right hand corner. You can see if you go here, you can pick your brushes. In this case, first we're gonna start with the paint bucket. Oh, what I wanna do is see this little history button up here. This is gonna start a time lapse of this whole process here. So I'm gonna start the recording. And now I'm going to go down and select my color. I don't want that color. Uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to fill in with a, a green screen. I'm going to start with green and then I'll go to the pen and start using the pen after we get a background here. So then we'll just go over here anywhere and, and hit the, uh, now we've got a green screen. And now I'm going to go back up to this right hand corner here. And I'm going to get this, I'm going to change it for a marker. And we're just going to do some mark making. And I'm just going to show you guys in the beginning and then we'll, we'll watch the time lapse. So now I'm going to pick a different color. I think I'll go with the dark gray for now. And I'm just going to do some lines. So basically we can just take this stylus and just do a series of lines. Now the harder you press the the more the lines, you know, become. And so, like I said, this thing is doing a time lapse of this whole process. You can make your canvas bigger or smaller up here. And uh, yeah, there's all, all your tools up here. We can get more into this stuff if you guys want, just let me know. But uh, I'm just gonna show you guys how this works. So you can see um, that you can just draw on here any way you want. And if you don't want it, then you can just go back to the undo button and undo that, that action. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, it's running time lapse. So it won't run anything only when I actually mark on the thing. So I could take, I could go make a cup of tea and come back and it's not recording anything only when I'm actually making a mark or doing something with the painting. So We'll go ahead and watch this time lapse. So I give you guys a little update here where I'm just making some more marks. Just random, trying different marks, different patterns, different uh, size. You can change the size, you can change the brushes, all that kind of stuff. And like I said, we're doing the, the time lapse at the same time. Okay, so I think it's done. So I'm gonna sign it, and then I'll show you guys how to um, how to save it. So I like to work all different ways, and digital painting is also fun. And 
I like that I can make it any size I want. So this is a, a fun thing, no matter how you like to work, uh, Paint 3D is kind of fun that it does the little time lapse for you. And um, yeah, it's got a lot of interesting things. Of course, it's got 3D, 3D capabilities as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I will get back to you. Take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.